These men are parading themselves as men of God, when in reality, they are sons of the devil. <laughs> Carrying out the work of darkness from commanding members to eat grass, drink petrol as a healing drink, snakes for healing, staged and fake power performances all in the name of God. When you see a normal human being eating grass meant for cows and sheep in the name of God, then know that the devil is at work here. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the false preacher and satanic agent called Lasego Daniel of Raboni Center Ministries. You should never sit under this man. We are supposed to eat the bread, but they're going to eat special bread before they eat this. If Jesus can turn water into one, fish into his body, huh? loaves from the boy into what? Into what? Into his body. People can eat. So I'm going to give them food from above. In this service, he claims he wants to give his members food from above, from heaven. Well, let's see what kind of heavenly food he is talking about. Stop. Stand up. Close him off. Okay, I see food outside. Okay, go and eat. Go and eat. Go eat outside. Go, quickly. Eat quickly. Eat quickly. Today, no time. No time. You eat quickly. What do we call it? I can never imagine that one day people will go to church and eat grass. Think about it. You get to church and the pastor instruct you to go eat grass like a cow. Will you eat it? This is not only wrong, but it is satanic. It is bewitchment. Matthew 7, 15. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. This lunatic behavior in the pulpit is what led to the killing of over 900 religious cult members of the People's Temple in Jonestown by Jim Jones. If you thought eating grass was weird... Wait till you see the next video. This man locks his members in a deep freezer. He is fond of violently stepping on people's stomachs, forcing church members to eat women's hair and clothes, and feeding church members live snakes and ants. I don't even know what to make of this. He's feeding his member live snakes, ants, and rats. He also dispenses blessings by commanding his followers to eat strange things, as Checkpoint saw firsthand on a visit to the church. This is the God. But the God's power can turn anything to food. Right. But it was the feeding of animals to his flock that attracted the attention of the authorities. These animals, God made them for us to eat. Amen. What are you talking about? Did God create us to eat live snakes and ants? God created us to eat live rats? Although the pastor was arrested, police say they need proof that the snakes and other animals were alive when they became spiritual meals. In the absence of such evidence, the charges had to be withdrawn. After his run-in with the law, Pastor Mguni made sure to point out that the rat in his hand that Sunday was dead. How does it taste? Yes. But a close-up shot revealed a different story. <laughs> Perhaps the police should conduct a proper investigation. But what's in it for the congregation? A junior preacher at End Times Disciples Ministries claims eating strange things brings healing. You eat, you are delivered. You eat, you are healed. You receive your breakthrough. You receive your marriages by eating. This is insane. I lack words to describe this. This is pure deception. People are being deceived that eating these things brings healing and financial breakthrough. This is what you get when you are moving from one church to another seeking miracles. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching. But having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions and will turn away from listening to the truth 
and wander off into myths. Meanwhile, some have turned the house of God into a circus. They heard them speaking in tongues, but what did they see? For them to think they was drunk, they must have thought they was drunk. They were acting like drunks. <laughs> Others have turned to punch people claiming that it is a form of transferring the healing power of God. God anoint every shikaboomba. This preacher has a record of assaulting and punching people in the name of miracles. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, you know, restoration, Rick's here, my first service, uh, you know, God, you want me to punch this guy? And I, it just didn't make sense to me. And I thought, Lord, he's dying. You know, he, he yeah. lost over 40 pounds. So anyways, I punched him in that broken sternum, and he ended up on the ground and just vibrating under the power of God. He gets up, and immediately you could see a change in his face, in his yeah. countenance. And uh, long story short, he was totally healed of cancer. And you listen to me. Any doctrine, any principle, any law, any teaching that is placed beside the gospel are given more emphasis than the gospel. No matter how harmless it may be in itself, immediately turns in to a doctrine of demons. Still talking about punching someone in church? Take a look at this. Hi, how are you? My name is Lindana Mkiza from South Africa. Hey. I usually see my mom watch uh, Kakande Ministries on YouTube, so I recently just started watching it. The first time I saw it, you were playing soccer with some guys, and I saw them trip, and I was like, I, Mom, I, I don't believe what's happening here. And uh, so I said, no, it's fine, because I do boxing, I'll see if uh, I will fall in front of him. <laughs> boxing fight between the brother from South Africa and Prophet Samuel Kakande. He wanted to do boxing. <laughs> he, he, he wanted to see what I. <laughs> Look, are you still there? Are you still there? Are you still there? Because. He's defeated. Are you still there? Hello. Watch this fight between Prophet Kakande and the brother from South Africa. <laughs> Between the hey, brother from South God. Africa and Prophet Kakande. Knockout. In the ring is the brother from South Africa and Prophet Kakande. Watch this fight. Hallelujah. This is pure entertainment. Nothing spiritual about this. Many people are losing their lives to deception in false churches. Remember the warnings of the scriptures, dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. 
But there were also false prophets among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you. They will secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the sovereign Lord who bought them, bringing swift destruction on themselves. And, and I'm asked that question, I'm frequently asked that question, why is it, why is it that, that, that God allows these false teacher, teachers to prosper, these false churches to grow? Why, why, I mean, why is it, if I was God, I would, I would just like, it's mushroom cloud, man. Just right there in the middle of TV, somebody opens their mouth and tells a lie and then, ashes. Why? Why do these false teachers prosper? Why do these false churches grow? The answer is because the Bible is true. Listen to it again. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching. Having itching, itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves or heap up for themselves teachers to suit their own passions and will turn away from listening to the truth and will wander off into myths. False teachers will prosper and false churches will grow. And it will happen because the Bible is true. Indeed, we are in the last days. And I will admonish you to study the Bible for yourself and stand firm because it's going to get worse than this. Be vigilant because the devil is roaming looking for who to deceive. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.